Hi, this is Emily. <clears throat> I'm going to make a quilt and I want you to come along with me and get started. So first of all, on the dashboard, you're going to click on the design a custom quilt and it will take you to this screen. This is the designer, the design screen. You can see here that the settings are rows, columns, block sizes. You can alternate your block size, sashing, border and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start out with, let's see, actually, let's make this a, there we go four by five and I'd like to use this block here the sawtooth star and I really like King's crown and I think um, I'm gonna start this way as an alternating pattern um, and then once I like that we're gonna click over to the fabric now you'll see here we've got a search bar you can search by keyword um, by designer, by manufacturer, anything, a color if you put in there. But today we're going to search for Chatsworth, my new fabric collection that is just coming out because I'd like to make a quilt for my, for myself, for my kids in Chatsworth. Um, now I want to show you something that's interesting here. You'll see as I hover over these, um, there is a little icon that shows up in the corner. And if you click that, it'll give you more information about this piece of fabric. And then you'll see this heart. I'm going to add that to my favorites. And the favorites will show up here in my stash. So we'll go through that a little bit more. But let me just show you how to get started with the basics. It's really simple. It's click and drag. So I'm just going to start dragging quilt fabric into this design. And let me show you else, something else that's really fun. If I want to see what it's going to look like up close a little bit better, I like to zoom in. So I like to kind of zoom in and out between um, a full view or a close up. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So two things I can do to undo would be uh, drag another piece of fabric over it or I can click the undo button. Yeah, I like the way that's looking. Let's see here. Let's add this one yeah I like that um just for kicks let's see what it would look like with that yeah I like that okay so when you get the quilt to where you like it let's go back and maybe see if we m might want to add some sashing in here uh, we'll go back to fabrics yeah I don't I don't like that and I guess I could change the fabric uh, I don't like that so I'm gonna go back here and change the sashing out. Um, now I think I've got it to where I like it so I'm going to name it and save and publish. Yeah I think I'll save and publish this to the to the design stream where everybody can see it or if I'm not ready to share I can save it as a private design but I like it so I'm going to I'm going to save it. Once it's done saving I will have access to the fabric calculations. I can view, now I can view the fabric calculations. I can start a new design or I can see the high res image. I can also share it on, on these platforms. So now you see my dashboard has my first design on it. Um, follow up with me in the next couple of video tutorials and I'll give you a little bit more information about using Pattern Jam to create quilts. Thanks a lot for being here. Talk to you later.